Hello world, Chaplain VY here. Today I want to talk about letting your yes be yes and your no means no. In life, we tend to waver in our decision-making process. I don't know if it is because we're working in the moment. I don't know if people feel that they're pressured. But whatever it is, we as an individual have to make sure we stand on our word. Is something you should not be able to be doing. You should not be talking verbally, but your action is saying something different altogether. That does not align yourself with the word, and it doesn't align yourself with your actions. Um, we want to make sure that our yes is yes, and our no means no. No one's saying that you can't make a mistake or go back on what you're saying, but what we're saying is you want to make sure you're confident and strong in what you're saying. When you do that, it allows people to say, oh, okay, he or she is serious about it, or he and sh he or she has a strong priority in life. You know, um, you got a lot of people in life who's who wavers, and the problem is people are watching your every move. You don't know who they are, and sometimes you do, but no matter what, people are watching. We have to make sure we are confident in what we say. By us being confident in what we say, it makes us a better person. It's very important that we as a people love who we are individually and spiritually, mentally, psychologically, and so forth. It begins with self. It always have. It begins with self. So, for instance, I love me enough not to lie to you. I love me enough not to disrespect you. I love me enough not to do anything negative towards my fellow man or woman. That's just the way it is. Because no matter what, it always comes back to me. No matter what, we all have a sense of responsibility for self. Why do you think everyone always blame other people for their problems? Think about that now. It's always easier to express yourself outward or externally than to look inward to yourself. Everyone out here puts some blame on this person, that person, but nobody want to step up and take responsibility for their actions. You have to let your yes mean yes and your no means no. If you don't understand something, if you're, if you're unaware of something, it's okay to say that. But me personally, I feel I don't know it's not an answer. I feel that I don't have an answer for that it's not an answer. You do know. Why are people going through life saying, I don't know? Is it because you don't have confidence in yourself? You know, we have to make sure we are confident in who we are. Everything begins and ends with us. I'm going to keep saying that because it's true. We have to believe in ourselves. We have to know that we can do anything that's possible. I understand we're living in a reality where things may not be working out for us, whether it's relationship issues, whether it's employment issues, whether it's psychological issues, uh, and any other issues that may arrive. I know and I totally understand things are not where they should be with people, but I'm in the same boat, but I'm not where I used to be. That's the problem. I'm not where I used to be, and I feel good about that. Each and every day, I'm doing my best to learn something about me. Now, I'm not saying it to a point where you're arrogant, like, oh, it's all about Chaplain V.Y. It's not about that. What I'm saying is you have to believe in yourself. This is far from arrogant, being arrogant. It's far from it. But you got to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, who will? If you don't love and respect yourself, who will? You should not. It's, it's all about energy. It's all about energy. What you put out in the universe, you're definitely going to get back. That's the thing about energy. Energy does not discriminate. Energy does not hate. Energy does what it is supposed to do. That is life. That is the circle of life, no matter what. So all them deep past secrets and the lying to yourself, you don't have to lie to yourself. You don't even have to lie to nobody else. There is no reason to fear. But society put these stigmas on us. They put these obstacles in our way. But that's all right. You're going to overcome it. You really are. Also, one of the things I love about the word, it always say, don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. And that's very true. We want to make sure we have a positive mindset about everything we do. I know right now things may be 
um, overwhelming, single parenting, lack of employment, lack of finances, in debt, you know, barely no food, barely no place to stay, relationship issues. It So many things may be happening to people, health issues. But you know what? Don't stress over it too much because if you help add to that stress, it's going to bring you down faster. I have a lot of things that's going on with me, but you know, I have to transform my thoughts. I have to transform my wording and I know at the end of the day, it's going to be okay. That's my reality. Things are going on in my life, but my truth is everything's going to be okay. Everything is done already. That's just how life is. We going to make it, but we got to understand and recognize that our yes must be yes. And I know have to be no, because if people keep coming across double-minded people, then they're going to stigmatize you as being predictable. You do not want to be a predictable person. You do not want to be predictable to a point where they be like, and five, four, three, two, and point to you. Who wants to be predictable? I don't. But the matter of fact is people are unpredictable. You never know what they will do until they do it. I always tell my children, Never let them see your weakness because when a person starts seeing the weakness in anybody, they're going to use it. They're going to attack it. Here's an old remedy. How do you, what does it say? How do you, how do you unfox a fox or something like that? How do you catch a fox? And then they say, you unfox a fox. You got to be, you got to use your mind. You got to think. You got to be strategic. I always tell people it's chess, not checkers. You'll get that later. You guys have any video testimonials or uh, any response? I definitely would love to hear it. Remember, let your yes be yes and your no be no. It's okay for you to fall sometimes. The point is you getting back up and dusting yourself out. Namaste.